So it's been a pretty epic week this week to be fair, we've had a brand new release free to play game that I am so addicted to, it is absolutely ridiculous. And we got a Lego game, Lego Ninjago, that went free for everyone as well. And to be fair, this week coming up is no different. It's looking pretty awesome as well. There is tons of new games coming out. It's time for the drop. We're going to check out what new games are actually releasing next week. So if you guys are looking for something new to play, make sure you stay tuned. Just a quick one before anything guys, um, if any of you lot are looking to pick yourself up an awesome custom controller, make sure you check out controllermods.co.uk. Now these are available worldwide, there's a link at the very top of the description with a discount code. The prices are so cheap you can get the dominator buttons which just make your gaming so much easier and you can also fully customise and fully design your own and you can see that's the starting price with a faceplate on which is only a little bit different in price than a standard dual shot make sure you check them out now the first game that we're going to look at is a little indie title but it looks really really fun to play and it's the only reason that i'm going for it it's a game called concept destruction now in this game it's literally a destruction derby game apart from all the cars are made out of cardboard and it looks pretty fun even though it sounds like a little bit weird um, there's a couple of different game modes as well, you can play in the championship mode to fight your way through, see how far you can get, or you can jump into survival mode and just see how long you can keep your cardboard car alive before it kind of ends up a floppy mess. Now I don't normally go for indie games when it comes to the drop, but if they look really fun to play and they're different than stuff that we'd normally get, I always think that they're worth a mention. Now a game like this, if this was to go say on PlayStation Plus, even with it being an indie title that's probably not going to be that expensive, it's the kind of game that a lot of people would enjoy and it's the only reason that I'm kind of going for it. The second one that we're going to go for is, again it's something a little bit different, it's a game called Golf With Your Friends. Now if you like golf then you might like it, if you just like party games then you'll probably like it as well, but this one is a mini golf game that you can play online with your friends with up to 12 people. Uh, games like this, if you end up picking them up and you've no one to play with, if you jump on Discord which you'll see a link popping up down below, if you kind of ask on the PlayStation section anyone playing this game, because it's a new release game I'm sure people will pick it up anyway, but it's an easy way to find people to play with online if you're used to playing on your own. The third one that we're going to go for, and this isn't the final one either, usually we struggle to find like two or three actually decent looking games that are new, um, but there's actually a few this week. Now, the third one that we're looking at is a PlayStation VR title called Gone. Now, the only reason I even know about this title is actually because I saw Jack Jacksepticeye playing it, and it looks really, really fun. It is, it's pretty much just like a gladiator simulator game where you're in an arena and you're having to battle, apart from there's tons and tons of different weapons. It is really savage, it is really, really violent, but it looks so fun to play as well. You use everything from like swords, maces, uh, to bows, nunchucks, throwing knives, or if you're really brutal, you can just use your own blood-soaked hands. Um, this is the kind of game that I love on PlayStation VR because even though there is movement in it, it's not a story based movement game. A lot of the stuff that you are kind of doing, you are kind of either stood still or you're just moving a little bit rather than running around a giant map. And that's kind of why this is a game that I've been looking forward to playing, just because it looks really, really fun, and I think it's going to be one that I'll be able to handle without actually getting the motion sickness. But the final game that we're going to go for that is out this week is a game that I've been looking forward to for so long. It's a game called Manita. Now, this is an open world game with a difference, and the difference is that you get to play as a shark. Uh, pretty much you start off as a little shark going around causing terror, eating stuff, destroying stuff, just being a shark really. Uh, the more stuff you destroy, the more you level up, and the more you level up, the bigger shark that you become. So if you think you start off like a little tiny shark swimming around, nibbling on people's ankles, all the way up to like a megalodon. But obviously you have got the problem of if there's a really cruel shark going around attacking people, you end up getting the coast guard. You end up getting people out to try and kill you so you've got to kind of try and survive as well as destroy stuff and it looks really really fun to play this is a game that i actually saw a trailer for over a year ago and not many people had seen it i shared it around people love the look of it and it's actually releasing this week and i cannot wait to play it um, but they're the games that are out this week guys i'm curious to see what you guys think out of everything that is due out what game are you looking forward to playing the most what are you definitely picking up and is there anything that you're going to be avoiding? Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, I like and be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.